All right, it's Tim. Just picked up the foreman and the rancher. So I got a whole truck full of parts that had a microwave. So the motor's built in the foreman, the valve cover's in there, the boot, the motor's just sitting in here with the boot was messed up, so we got to order another boot, and uh, the motor is out of the, out of the rancher, it's sitting in the back, so it's got a lot of issues with it, still the transmission. Not shifting. Motor runs fine, but it's not shifting right. So gonna continue with our video uh, I didn't really know how much filming I want to do over at that guy's place seeing we was picking them up and and I'm kind of a little dissatisfied but it's nobody's I mean the guy got bad sick so anyway he did get he got done with the motor and uh, get it all back together I've got the cover over there and uh, you know the motor just sitting in there like I said it's not in place so I might go ahead and try to I did get my uh, CV boots in on both sides I uh, got some popping in the rear end so I don't know I hadn't really looked at that like I said I didn't give probably crap for this thing so I'll uh, get it going I gotta get a key and uh, just Really, not, not that much stuff unless I get into the rear end and it's screwed up. So, uh, you know, I just have to see. But I hadn't seen this thing in over a year. <laughs> well, I, I went over there a couple times, but, you know, he hadn't done nothing with it, so. But anyway, and he got me a, he did get a pull start for it, too, because when it came, it wasn't on there. So. Let me see if I can pull it just to see if make sure it's seized up or anything. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I mean hopefully that's not too close. Let's see. Yeah, but anyway. And here's the boot for the uh, rear axle. Got it. He ordered that for me. And, guy, we filled out the back of that truck. I got so much crap. I told my dad, I actually bought the red one. Or we traded. He bought the red or We traded or whatever, so he's got it. And, oh, man, it's just. Parts galore. Let's see what. Let's see. Yeah, there's the uh, cover. That's pretty nice right there. Brand spanking new or been cleaned up or something. I don't know. And there's the carburetor. I guess I can go ahead and get it soaking out and clean it up some. And. Odds and ends, and I don't know. Either. Since I was looking for this earlier, one guy I took. Here's a damn camshaft. Huh? Anybody need a camshaft? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Not real sure what that 
I mean, that might be for this. I don't know. I, had, I gave him a bunch of parts. With that other motor that I bought. But, yeah. There's the 28. They're going to be going on it. And the lift kit. Uh, I don't know where the lift kit is. Let's see. I don't know. It's over here somewhere. It's been a while, so I've had to mess with any stuff. And there's my seat. I might just recover that one. I don't know. There's the tank. Some more plastic. Some more air box. So yeah. I don't know. I just got a bunch of crap in here. I need to get it all straightened up and get it going good. But anyway. Let me see what one of these 28s is going to look like up beside it. Let's see. The be your back one here. I can't really remember what the stock tires. I had them on something. Yeah, that looked real good. <laughs> Just slightly. I don't know if you can... Ah, crap. That might help. They're just, just a hair higher than them 25s or whatever. This might be your best angle. That's 28s. I believe that's 25s. Yeah. 25s are on their stock and then these are... Where is it wrote? These are 28, 11, about 14s. Alright, let me go put this on the internet so y'all can look at it. But, uh, God, I know it's been a while, but I got it back. Now I'm gonna get to trucking on it. So, yep. Till next time.